It's a farming idea that saves you money and water. Our own Going Green intern, JJ Zavala, has the story. Hey, Yolanda. We're here at the Lawndale Art Center where there's a special exhibit on display, which is not only art, but some are calling it farming for the future. Let's check it out. With produce becoming more expensive daily, urban farming has been getting a lot of attention these days. Meet Malcolm Smith, a modern day pioneer of urban agriculture. He has a true passion for this line of work. It started off as an economics. Oh, this is gonna you know, help out me and my parents' future because like I said, everyone needs clean water and need to eat. But as I started farming and getting more involved, the vegetables became more spiritual. It had nothing to do with economics. It's like therapy for me. I really, really enjoy it. There's something that sets Malcolm apart from most present day farmers. He uses a system that cultivates plants and fish in a controlled setting, like the one you see here. The aquaponics is the science of growing vegetable and fish in the same environment. They use uh, either hydroponics, which uh, they use a lot of chemicals in, and like I said before, that those chemicals have to be dumped into our water supply. And there's also something called aquaculture, which is growing fish in tanks. And there you need to add chemicals and nutrients to the fish, which eventually build up a toxic level, and they have to be dumped into our water supply once again. So what I do is blend the two together so there's no waste produced. Everything is completely self-sufficient and recycles. So there's no contributing pollution into the water system. It's completely self-sustained. This style of farming is called aquaponics. Some say Aztecs were the first to use this method. Others refer to ancient Egypt. They've been doing this system for thousands of years and we've kind of gotten away from it. Without electricity, of course, um, they just you know, use gravity and, and, um, and, their, and their environment. So what I'm doing is just taking an old method and uh, making, making great food with it. Using the sustained environment, Malcolm is able to grow produce through natural means of recycling. The fish produce the waste and those plants feed off the waste. The water is pumped from the tank into the grow beds and from there the plants filter out any toxins that are toxic to the fish. And what happens is they have a symbiosis. The plants produce the oxygen necessary and clean out the, the toxins for the water and the fish produce the food for the plants. To break it down, Malcolm took us through the basic process. There is one pump that pumps water from the tank up into the grow beds. What happens is the water is pumped into the grow beds and this is what the plants feed on is the water and the nutrients that the plants that the fish provide to the plants. And what happens is as it's pumped into these containers which are called grow beds, water fills up every 15 minutes and then naturally due to gravity is pumped back into the tank. So it's very easy to manage an aquaponic system. Through aquaponics Vegetables, fruits, and herbs become fully grown at a quicker pace with no chemicals. And there's more. Aquaponics helps you go green by putting a little extra green in your pocket. You could save a tremendous amount of money on your water bill because it takes one-tenth of the water it takes for traditional gardening. If you're going to have a garden and say your bill is going to be $100 at the end of the month, using aquaponics it would only be 10 because you don't need nearly as much water to sustain the system. And here's something that really caught my attention. The water is drinkable. During the aquaponics process, I also discovered how to filter out toxins from the water. So a large scale of this, you can actually start cleaning out lakes and rivers as well. To promote these great efforts, Malcolm approached the Lawndale Art Center. But why an art center? I put the question to Executive Director Christine West. The question, is it art, is probably one of the largest questions throughout art history. That's really up to each person who comes to see a work of art and experience themselves and bring to it what they think may be artful about it. Well, art is completely subjective. It's up to the individual to interpret what art is. And it's a contemporary art. I wanted people to ask, what is this? You know, get them curious about, you know, what aquaponics is um, in the setting of Lawndale as a contemporary art piece, that it's a functional as well as artistic. I hope that it will open up some eyes about just how simple something like this can be. I mean, I'm inspired to not just have a, you know, a pot in my yard and grow some herbs in it. This seems like it's really fun and the opportunities for expansion and growing all kinds of things, it, it's huge. So um, I hope that others will feel as enthusiastic about it as I am and, and think about doing this on their own. But there's more than art and gardening on Malcolm's mind. He hopes to share the sustainable system with developing countries. By using shipping containers, a setup like this can be sent all over the world to help those in need. 
Everyone needs clean water and healthy food, period. And the method that I'm developing here can go anywhere, um, including, you know, Alaska. The only thing you need to do, and that's why I chose shipping containers, because you can climate control it. Malcolm calls aquaponics farming of the future, and he's quick to point out this method is a productive process that can happen here and now. Farming of future, and also has in parentheses, now is the only thing that's real, because the past does not exist and neither does the future. The only thing that's real is this moment, like we're having right now. And I wanted to let people know that you can do this right now at a very affordable price for next to nothing. There is no doubt that Malcolm will continue to grow with aquaponics for many years to come. Matter of fact, I'm discovering new and creative ways to make it better. For Going Green, I'm JJ Zavala.